Uh, my name is Michelle and I am with Echo Dell Finds and I'm here in Connecticut and I thought I would do a haul video. What I think I'm going to do with my channel is I'm just going to do haul videos every week uh, as I go out and thrift and then just kind of let the lag time be about a week before I post things on eBay so that if anybody wants to get a hold of me and say hey I like that item you can do that by emailing me at the email address below and just let me know which item you're interested with and I will um, give you a discount uh, because I won't have to pay eBay fees and if you're local I won't have to pay shipping uh, but we'll figure it out as we go. So I uh, had a day off today and I went out thrifting and we got some good stuff. Uh, thrifting for me is part-time, it is for pleasure mostly and just to kind of enjoy um, some, yeah, just beautiful pieces of art and um, just to enjoy uh, getting out and kind of mucking about. It was something I did in my childhood, so I really do enjoy it. It is quite um, relaxing for me. So, a sleeper find today that I found that I, I think is really beautiful um, is this um, Takahashi hand-painted uh, mug set and there's actually two and they are identical I think there's a little uh, what I imagine is an otter all kinds of sea life and greenery uh, and then something up in the sky here and it looks like maybe a, be a bear or something hunting for fish underneath but this is hand painted made in Japan they need a little bit of cleaning on the inside but uh, it is a pair of them and you can see at the bottom that they're hand painted uh, Takahashi uh, out of San Francisco and then they have obviously the gold sticker on the bottom as well so both pair uh, a pair of mugs they're beautiful um, and again made in Japan uh, there's no chips or cracks that I can see there's a little bit of a, a scum here and that may or may not come out in wash oh yes look at that it's just a piece of dirt so um, but I thought these were beautiful they're actually fairly light as well so I enjoy um, enjoyed those Next thing I have is a piece of glass. I've been eyeing this one at our local consignment shop uh, for some weeks now, and I finally uh, had an opportunity to get at get it at a very um, good price. So, you know, he's mm, maybe I don't know three and a half inches tall or something like that. He's got a sweet little applied tail, um, and just just his face is is quite cute as well. Um, there's the bottom. I'm sure this is not Murano glass. This is just a, uh, a knockoff, but, um, he's got some weight to him. Um, and he's not, I think he's very cute and charming. So just a little zebra for, uh, your collection of glass animals. The other thing I found, this I found a few days ago, um, in a thrift shop that I, I just picked it up because it looked like a big spool of thread. And I thought that was really cool. I'm a sewer. I come from a family of quilters. So I thought it was kind of interesting. But as I've done my research, I think it's some sort of insulator. So if you know what this is, let me know in the comments below. It does have a hole in the back. My husband thinks it should be a candle holder, but I have a feeling it's a type of insulator. Um, but anyway, it's very cool as a spool of thread as well. The other thing I got, I got two things from Lakshan Ot. One is for sale, one isn't. This particular one is for sale. Um, this is, um, a, uh, coffee grinder. Uh, it needs some cleaning up. I'm going to do some work on the, on the wood. Uh, it does have dovetailed, uh, corners, which are really beautiful. And, um, everything works. The mechanism works. Uh, I'm pretty sure they use this as a pepper grinder because it smells more like pepper than it actually does of coffee. But, um, you can, you know, we clean this out and, uh, it's, it's very quickly going to become your own coffee. I would use it as a coffee grinder because it, it is quite large. I don't know anybody that drinks that much pepper. Um, but it is fully functional and uh, everything looks good inside. I'm just going to basically clean up um, the wood part. I like to leave um, metal as I find it just because you never know what somebody's looking for. So that's a coffee grinder. This one is for sale. I think uh, it's lovely. It would make a lovely addition to somebody's collection. Uh, the one that isn't for sale is a personal 
uh, it's been on my personal hit list for a while, um, is a uranium glass. This is depression glass. Um, it's, it's footed as well, which is kind of an interesting find. Um, but it is a hand mixer. And it does work. It, it uh, mixes freely, but uh, it is a uh, two-cup mixer. So uh, I just think that's really great. And I love this little motif on the side. It almost looks like um, a basket of eggs. So uh, this glows, went under black light, um, and I, I have started a little bit of a uranium collection. So I really um, love this little mixer, and that's why I wanted the lot. So the coffee grinder's for sale. This bad boy, not so much. Next thing I found, and I need a little bit of help with this one as well, is um, these. We found these in a goodie bag today at Goodwill. They are wood. They don't smell. So first we thought they were kind of like a block that you would put in your um, in your uh, linen closet or in your laundry drawer. Um, but they don't actually have any smell to them. Um, but they're just sweet. Uh, so if you know what those are, let me know. Um, they're just beautiful. The inlay on them is gorgeous if you can see it it's just a beautiful and they're light 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 so I don't think they're not solid I don't think but um, yeah they're just a beautiful I, th I thought of Easter they're just gorgeous coming up to Easter so I got those this was one I piece I got for myself not for resale although I could be persuaded but this one has a little bit of damage it's this darling um, pill box it could also be a ring box I suppose it's it's big enough for that um, but I think primarily it's a pill box and you can just see the inlay there that is a gorgeous sweet box I did buy it knowing it was damaged so there are pieces of the inlay uh, missing and I did know that and I and I paid an appropriate price for it um, but I live in a tiny space so these kinds of tiny collections is kind of what I can bear um, I have to be fairly selective of what I I purchased for myself so and this is just the uh, this is just the consignors number but a gorgeous little pill box and I again I just fell in love with um, the mosaic or the inlay on the front uh, and I had to have it so this one's for my own personal collection unless somebody can convince me otherwise so I found these at Goodwill the other day and I just thought they just are the greatest little craft project uh, somebody took vintage cards and made little bowls of them and I did a very quick internet search and you can find these online but uh, I love this just a little bit of yarn a lot of vintage cards kind of glued together um, it looks like somebody used a paper punch which I thought was a brilliant hack because I think punching the holes uh, in the paper in order to get this to fit together is kind of actually the tricky part so a couple of really sweet little Christmas uh, bowls. I love the snowman on the back. Uh, very vintagey. I love the bows on this second bowl. Uh, I love the finishing on that. Uh, that one's very cute. So, a couple of Christmas bowls. It's not the season, but uh, I just thought this was a great way to use up your Christmas cards. So, if you're looking for a project, uh, take a look on YouTube. There's lots of tutorials uh, on how to make these, and I think it's a beautiful way to uh, add decor at Christmas. And also, look at this vintage card over here. Oh. You see that? Mmm, beautiful. Speaking of postcards, this I found today, and I had never seen one before, but it is actually, uh, it says uh, Miss Petticoat, and it's a ceramic tile uh, postcard, and it's uh, uh, Villeroy and Bosch is the um, manufacturer, and it was made in West Germany. So it's got a little bit of age to it, and uh, I just thought, man, what a picture of all of us when this virus is over, right? This will be us dancing down the streets. Uh, but I thought it was sweet. Uh, I think this is just motion. I don't think this is a scratch. I think it's just what they've drawn on to, to uh, denote that they're running around in circles. But uh, I just thought this was just the sweetest little postcard. Never used, obviously, how you would ever send that in the mail, I don't know, but a uh, darling little uh, ceramic postcard. Okay, moving on to pottery. I'm a pottery lover. Uh, I love pottery, and um, it is is something that I, I love to pick up. And then when I saw this blue pottery, 
Uh, it's just deeply saturated in color. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So had to have it. Um, this is Hugo Kohler. Um, and this is a dipping bowl. You can see on the inside. I have two pieces uh, from Keeler uh, today. So this is one. Uh, and then there's his signature. On the back, I'm not sure if you can see that on the dark. Uh, and then the second piece I have is actually a covered um, sugar dish in the same pattern. So, um, didn't find the um, the creamer, but uh, I thought these both of these pieces were just beautiful. Check out this detail on the top. I just thought it was gorgeous. Um, this is kind of a raised, again, this is just the consigner's mark. There's a raised embossed sort of a detailing on the front. This one has a little bit of wear slash, I'm not going to call that a chip. It doesn't feel rough. It just feels like a flea bite maybe. And you can kind of see the rest of the, the cover has that distressed look as well. But it's beautiful on the inside. It looks barely used. And then there's the end. thing I love to collect is this um, wooden um, painted this looks Russian uh, but I think you can get it you know it can be American it can be um, Mexican um, but I found another set of this and this this sells really well for me uh, it's nice and light as well so it's easy to ship it doesn't break um, but it's a lacquered uh, bowl and cup set. So here is the the bowls. They just have this beautiful uh, gold center. Um, they're just gorgeous. No markings on it, but I'm I'm kind of guessing they're your they're Russian um, or Eastern European. But they're they're beautiful. That gold just shimmers. Um, oh well, there you go. There's problem solved, isn't it? fairly sure that may even be Greek. Hey, let me know what you think, what language you think that is. That's that's the clearest marking that it, these have on them. And then this is a much deeper bowl. This one here. So three bowls and two cups of this design. And again, it's this one isn't, it's more of, of a berry. Um, that's interesting because the cups are, are strawberries, definitely. So, uh, but I think they are similar. Maybe a little bit different, but they're very similar. Nah, the cups may be a little bit different, but anyway, gorgeous little um, set of lacquered bowls. One thing that I love to pick up is um, tiles and I don't know what people do with tiles I have no idea how they use them um, but this was a Portuguese tile um, that I picked up and it's a Zubel I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly um, but it is a Portuguese uh, hand-painted Portuguese tile um, and it has um, F G Fortuna at the bottom so uh, beautiful little picture um, it's 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 faded. I will say that it looks it's look, showing a little bit deeper uh, on screen than it actually is in person. But I thought it was charming. A little bit of a nick in the corners. It's kind of typical of the age, but uh, no cracks or chips otherwise. Another piece that I found was this one. This is Hull USA AA65. Nice Hull planter. Uh, has a little bit of that. Um, drip glaze effect, although it's, it's, you know, it's, it's subtle, <laughs> um, but it's a gorgeous, um, brown and eh, it's kind of a mossy green, maybe seafoam green, uh, at the top, but it's just kind of a classic Hull USA pottery vase. Finally, the one thing that I couldn't leave behind that I was very excited to see, uh, was a mid-century... Uh, rooster plate. These are hand painted, made in Italy, and I have two tiny plates, um, and I have two bigger plates. This is kind of like a, you know, I don't, I don't know 
what they would use them for, but I would use them like to put jewelry or trinkets or something in. They're, they're quite a small little plate, but you can see they're Italian, hand-painted. Uh, and they are beautiful. They're a beautiful set. And then the ones that caught my eye, the ones that really just did it for me, was a full-size plate. And I don't know if I can capture this whole thing, but it's a square plant with a, it, you know, it's, it's, it's concave. It's, it's not a flat, uh, but the um, rooster on this is quite amazing. Um, the gold around the edge is wearing, but that's, it's mid-century, so um, that is to be expected. And again, you have the same. This one was hung, I guess. It has the holes for hanging, and it's Italy as well. This is the last plate in the series, so um, we'll be able to see that, but the, the crows do face each other. I'm going to have to figure out how to do this, but, but in both sets of plates. But this one has a little bit of damage. It's a little bit of chipping on the edge. I, I don't think it's a major thing because if you touch that up with a little gold paint, I think it's not deep. It's not a deep chip. Um, and it's not, it's a little rough, but it's not terribly rough. But I love these mid-century rooster plates. I just think they're amazing. I saw them and I had to have them. So that was my haul from today. I have a couple of other items that I did get. They're already up on eBay uh, because I am committed to having one item on my eBay at all times that is uh, a wow factor. So there's a couple of... Um, items up on my eBay right now at Echo Dell Finds that you can go see. Um, but anything else that I've shown tonight, minus the juicer, minus the pillbox, uh, I'd be happy to discuss uh, prices. Uh, just email me at the email below and we can start a discussion. And then basically what I would do, we'd agree on a price of an item and then I'll just charge you the shipping. Whatever USPS charges me to ship the item, that's what I'll charge you. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item is, and we will see you next time.